Did other people in your guys' houses like, oh my god, he's playing a video. <laughs> I was watching. I finished, I finished my thing at like 10, 15 or something. Oh, okay. Hey. That works. I think maybe another 10 minutes for the lecture questions. We'll start with... <coughs> I am going to go get another cup of coffee. I know that's that's my sentiment as well. I am tired. How many of you guys have not been outside like at all? Me. Me. I have not seen the light of day since uh what Monday? Monday was the last day we were all at school. Tuesday, Wednesday, today. The last time I went outside was Saturday because I had work. Then mm. I got laid off. <laughs> really? You got laid off? Oh, you got yeah, fired. I got laid off. It's rough out here, Julio. I know. Well, hopefully our Republican president uh, employs uh, socialist tactics and gives us all a grant. Have you guys heard that? No. Okay, isn't that sort of I did. They're trying to give everyone like a thousand or something. Yeah, the president's thinking of giving giving every single person in the in in the U.S. I think of of working age a thousand dollars because we're all closed up doesn't mean the rents are gonna stop, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to buy the switch. On top of being laid off, my washing machine just broke. So that's oh, fun. Cool. What's, what was wrong with it? Did it just like, you hear that clunk and that was the end of it? It was making a weird noise, so now I can't use it. Mm. It's fun. So how are the lecture questions going for people? Okay. There's a couple people here that aren't here. Let me say, there's a couple people from class that aren't here, right? Did we lose some people? They're here. None of the Edlins are here.
So how about this question? Um, number one ration food. Go. Ration food. Yep, ration food. What do you mean? Bananas. Bananas. But it's hard to ration them because they go bad so fast. I know, that's true. I, I get have hell upset. Beans. Avocados, but the same. <laughs> I can't. If I like a case of spam, you'll be all right. No. <laughs> case of spam. Really? Probably. Well, I hope you have more than just spam. I have my Nana. As you can hear, can of tuna just because it stays forever. Good. Yeah. I bought these. These are pretty darn good. These little fig bars. No, I've never bought those. Yeah. But I always like trying new plants. I have these like cookie dunkers from um from uh, Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. It's those. It's basically those. You know those those cookies that come in that little like clear bucket. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's those are so good. good. Mm -hmm. They have like the best chocolate pretzels because they're the thin pretzels, so it's really just more chocolate and saltiness. <laughs> I've had good. their um. They also have um, yogurt covered pretzels. Ooh. Those, I tell you. The sweet and the salty. I'm a sucker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My laptop's about to die. I gotta go get my card. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, all right. Somebody's in trouble. <laughs> I can hear it through the mic. Tegan, it's my computer. Everything's okay. <laughs> Do you guys have, do you have a pet close by? I do, yeah. And like when you started talking, because I unmuted you, she woke up and she's like thinking someone's here. Oh. <laughs> it's a huge uh, mastiff, like the Sandlot dog. Yeah. Yeah. The sad part is, is like you would think she would be a great protect dog, but anyone that comes over, it's a scary bark and she's intimidating just by her size, but you stick a hand out to pet her, she's like, oh my God, my best friend. No. You would suck. <laughs> I used to have a massive when I was younger. Yeah, they're, they're, so sweet. they're great dogs. I was, not that I was surprised, but it is just like that Sandlot movie. It was so nice. Huh. Very loving. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mine used to give me piggyback rides. <laughs> she does that with one of our, um, I guess, nephews, you would call them. Any specific like, breed? Is it just a Mastiff? It's an English Mastiff. Oh, so okay. if you've ever seen, like, Turner and Hooch, it's not that yeah. type of Mastiff. It's oh, okay. the, the Sandlot, Sandlot one. Yeah. But she's, like, 165 pounds. Yeah. She she's a lap dog, or maybe she's just not aware of her size, but like when she sits down, she'll sit on you. On your, on your lap, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think one of the things I, I sort of told myself that I wouldn't want to do it, own a Tibetan Mastiff. Oh. Looking at them, maybe yeah. I don't. Really? Fucking Mastiff. Do it, Julio. Yeah. Well, I don't have bears to fight off. If I did, then yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah. The Italian Mastiffs are like crazy looking too, but I think that's just because they crop their ears for the breed. Yeah. I've seen pictures of the Tibetan Mastiffs, those uh -huh. things. That, that, that's a freaking polar bear running around. Yep. <laughs> that's what it is. 
um, doesn't make it any better that the, the the like the owners for them they cut their mane so it looks like a big, big huge lion. <laughs> even worse, I'm not even gonna no. Just no. When you say that, I looked up a picture and I just see one that looks like a lion. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> It's They're so used to scare off bears. Like they could not live in this climate, though. They would. <laughs> you'd have to shave them. You're right. It would not be able to live in this climate. It would die of heat exhaustion. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That it just means you gotta get a pool in your backyard for it. <laughs> That's true, and probably fill that pool with ice. Hair. <laughs> and in the hair, right? Oh, I had a coffee. Changing due date for three seven and three eight. Yeah. Well, three eight. Uh, I I was gonna end up skipping. So if you do it, great. I'm gonna give you guys extra credit for it. Uh, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Did you ever find out what was up with the assignments being view only? No. Not yet. Um, but I okay. did find out why um, I did find out why uh, the assignments are deducting five, six, seven, eight late passes for every one assignment. What was that? So, uh, at the beginning of the semester, I set the late passes to be uh, to give you guys 48 hours. Oh. Right? Um, so it's counting every 48 hours as one late pass. <laughs> so 48 hours is two days. So if you request it five days later, or uh, six days later, right? So that's an entire week later. Mm -hmm. um, it is uh, deducting three late passes yep. because it's three late passes after the due date. Got it. Got it? Got it. Um, so... Um, I just read that this morning. Uh, so I'm going to go back in. Actually, let me do that right now. I don't think that's what was wrong with mine. Well, yeah. So that, that answers the original question that mm -hmm. I, that I couldn't figure out. Um, can you check how many people have late passes? Yes, I can. Mm. So, hold on. Yeah, it says in review mode, no scores will be saved. So, yeah, that I don't know yet. I need to do a little bit more investigating on that. So, what I'm going to do is, what I want to do right now is I want to go back to the roster and manage late passes. So, it's still 48 hours. Okay. So, 24 times 7. I don't have a calculator on me. 168. 168. New changes. So, I'm going to add another... Eh, 20. <laughs> there. I added 20 late passes for everybody. On top of the ones that you already still have. So yeah. who's got the most late passes? It'd be cool if you'd be able to trade them. <laughs> if somebody's got 140. Somebody else that's got 140. How much do I have? 140, 140, 140. 140 is the most. A uh, Jarek, you got one twenty-three. Oh, okay. So, still wondering why it said seventeen last time. Yeah, ch check it again. Okay. How how do I check it? Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can ask me. Um, I mean, you see me every other day, so mm -hmm. I can. 
check them really quick. So I just told you yours. You have the 123. Yeah. When you request the late pass more than a week away from the deadline, then it'll start charging you uh, more than one late pass. Yeah, because I haven't touched any of the late passes, and I try to do the one assignment that's the oldest. Is so that's twenty-five of them. It, it probably, I never touched it, so I probably like touched like forty. <laughs> About so, so you should try it now. I think it'll still deduct a bunch of them. Okay. Uh, silence. Uh, this assignment past due. Ba -ba, you have one hundred and twenty-three. Okay. No. Boom. Okay. It doesn't tell me how much it uses, though. That based on the individual assignments. This is one point two. <laughs> so it'll tell you, like, if you if it says like use late passes. I think it it would probably say for that one. It'll probably say uh. It'll use six or seven late passes now because I changed the um, the uh, how long you're allowed to how long a late pass will last. Okay. So I just changed it to but practically a week. Okay. For every week that it's late, it'll deduct one late pass. Oh. Well, so now. Double check yours that it says in review mode. What? Which one was that? What chapter was it? <laughs> two, point it point one? <laughs> two point one. Two point. Two point one. I can use a late pass. You can use a late pass on two point one. Uh, yeah, Brittany. Try no, it's all of mine. It's all. Like, you can't use the late pass. Yeah, no, it just says in red in review mode. No scores will be saved, and then it gives you like a little option to. It's create because new you're, of questions, it's because, but it's still the same. It's because you're in review mode. The second you hit in review mode, it won't let you do it. But I don't think I ever hit that. I know I like did an assignment and left it up and forgot to close it out, and I kind of think that's what happens. But there's no way I did that on all of them. <laughs> that might have been it. No way. Let me so. I've never tried this. I'm, we're going to try it right now. I am going to go into yours, Brittany. Which one is it? 2.3, you said, right? 2.1. And it's the assignment or the video assignment? The assignment. The legit assignment, video assignment, assignment. Oh, and you have a zero on it. Yeah, that. Yeah. So does it have like a score on it? And maybe that's why it's in review mode? No, it looks like you never answered any of the questions. So that probably might be the thing that you probably left it open and it, yeah, you probably left it open and it did its thing and it closed out and that was it. That's so it. So, of those. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to do is- you doing it on all of them. <laughs> yeah, so. I am going to use the latest screen. Wait, wait, wait. If you leave the assignment open and you did the problems, but you leave it open, it doesn't turn it in? Oh, I don't know about that. Right. So I don't know if you answered questions on it or not, Brittany, but uh -huh. it shows me that you never answered any of the questions. So this sounds sort of just about what you said, where you left the assignment open and then you came yeah. back to it like a day later and, and it... Right. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm cl clearing your review mode. Reload the same ex uh, the um, same assignment. Yeah, the same as assignment 2.1. Reload it. It should let you use late passes now. I hope so. <laughs> Where are you? What well, doesn't say a zero anymore? Yeah, I could yeah. use it. So that is what, maybe a week, two weeks late now. So it'd probably make you use two or three late passes, but you have 90 something of them now, I think. Okay. So no All big. Right. 
but uh, would you mind going through the other ones and doing it too? <laughs> um, Jesus. <laughs> As long as it didn't like show me doing the homework, because I'm really like, I love to multitask, but I never finish a task kind of a thing. You know? <laughs> okay. uh, you, wait, wait, wait. You want me to do some of the ones that are here? Yeah, <laughs> please. Oh. It's not like I answered them, you know? Right. So, uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Okay. I don't want to do them all. Let's see. I'm I'm trying to look for one that is good to do. How about yeah? How about we do this one right here? Yeah. Is that good? The one F X plus one. Minus one? Yep. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. So we'll do this one really quick. I do want to move on and I have a couple of announcements now that I have the most of the class in the class. <laughs> um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to graph. Uh, one half to the X, right? So we know the graph for that goes through there, and then it sort of diminishes as we go along. And then one, two, two, four, and a three, eight. Cool. So then now we do our curve the best of our ability. Whoa. Got it? Okay. The plus one, what does that do? Moves it to the left. Why to the left? Because it's the opposite of uh... You're doing the opposite of the assigned. Right. And what does the minus one do? Go puts the whole thing down. Right. So uh, there is no flip. So we just move the things left and right as we see, right? Mm -hmm. So the first one, the first change I'm going to make is the plus one. Those are going to be the red dots, right? I need to move it to the left. So that goes one there, one there, 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 there. Bam, bam, right? Mm -hmm. And then the last one, the minus one, grabs those red points and shoves them down one. Got it? Yeah. There, 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 there. So where should our asymptote be? At negative one to be at negative one, right? And if you notice, if we finally do the kid in the garden thing and we connect the dots, let me actually start from down. So our final answer is that green one. Do you want us to write the original uh, the original line? If you think you can do it without it, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just drawing it there to uh, give you guys a sort of like a baseline of what's, what we are moving. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm just drawing in the dots a little darker. That's it. Okay. Where's our horizontal asymptote? Uh, negative one. Right, so the horizontal asymptote is y equals negative one. Uh, the domain? Uh, negative infinity to positive infinity. Right. 
So we can plug in any X value we want. Yeah. Right. And then lastly, my uh, rate. Negative one to infinity. Right. Why negative one? Because that's where the asymptote is. Right. The asymptote in the uh, exponentials, that's what governs the, um, the range. And yeah. do we include negative one or do we not include negative one? Not include. Not include. We are done. Awesome. Boom. All right. So, um, oh, my camera's been on this whole time. Yeah, I was just looking at Mario on Rainbow Road for a bit. <laughs> I'm, I actually meant to turn that off. Uh, just so that it allows for more um, bandwidth for uh, when I share stuff. Um, okay, so what I want to do right now is I want to show people uh, a couple things. Which I need to switch to. Anybody doing something fun later on today? Anatomy. Oh, how are they doing? How how are your guys is? Uh... Oh my god! It's just like we have to go online, and for the lab portion, we still have lab. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have lab, but instead of like dissecting anything, there's this. It's called visual body, and you can like, it's more live like than the actual anatomy book we have. It's like human could ever like that, and we're studying those muscles that way. Yeah. But, it's just not the same. <laughs> like, I don't know, we're supposed to be able to locate certain muscles and certain ligaments on the body during lab for our final, and I don't know how it's gonna play okay, out. Okay. I was just curious, was, was all of this last, all of last week and Monday and Tuesday, uh, all the faculty are like, what the f am I gonna do? Yeah, and um, I, I just wanted to know what the what the science labs were going to do because you know, for for anatomy you need to dissect stuff. Yeah. For chemistry lab you need to mix chemicals. For physics you need to go in and actually do a physical lab. So how do you do those if everything's closed down? Right. If everything's closed down, you guys have no none of the equipment. You guys, it doesn't seem like you guys get, like, would have cadavers at home, right? So no, no, not that. That's my knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> not to your knowledge. <laughs> like, not that I know of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just put up the Canvas page for everybody mm -hmm. for the class. So uh, this is my version. It shouldn't be too far off from your guys' version. Hopefully, everybody saw yesterday I added in uh, specifically this portion right there, the online office hours one. Um, so... The college is also making us um, be available for office hours online. Does that make sense? So, uh, I made a separate um, I made a separate Zoom meeting. So my Zoom meetings have to um, be available for everybody. So not only for you guys, but my other two classes as well. Um, so whenever I have my office hours. This actually, if you click on the online office hours, this link right here, um, it'll take you to another Zoom room, which is gonna be sort of like the, the virtual office hours, okay? Um, and just so you know where the hell I am at any point in the day, if you click, I made you guys read this on the first day if you did your, um, if you did your um, uh, the scavenger hunt and you went to go find the stamp, I had this on my door, which gave you where I'm supposed to be at every point in my day. So today, so we are somewhere right here about right now, right? Um, I have uh, lab hours and office hours. And then later, I don't know how this is going to work out. We're going to have a department meeting. <laughs> Somehow, we're going to have a department meeting. I haven't heard anything from the department chair yet, so I'm waiting on that. 
But the overall schedule for myself for the foreseeable future will be this thing right here. So if you need to see where I'm at virtually, uh, just go ahead and follow this no matter what. For example, so I have office hours from two to three today. So if you go to the original link right here, the online office hours, if you click that uh, at around two to three o'clock, I'm gonna show up. Got it? Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you guys about this thing. Um, what I wanna do now is I think uh, questions have been coming up about what to do with the math lab. Um, and what I want to do there is I want to show everybody the dashboard. So I think the solution that will happen now, so my Canvas page looks a whole lot more populated than probably your guys's. Yeah. Because I have a bunch of stuff here that I'm a part of. Um, so what's going to happen with the math lab for virtual um, meetings is you, you guys probably have maybe three of these boxes, right? maybe four at the most, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so what's gonna happen with the math lab is another box is gonna show up and um, it's gonna say something along the lines of math lab. So we're gonna move the math lab online virtually and the same uh, idea is gonna be used that we're gonna be using Zoom to create sort of virtual rooms so that's come in uh, whenever they need to to get help on their um, on their work. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see how this is going to work out. Uh, I think we're going to hopefully start this by next Monday. Or this coming Monday, sorry. Um, so once it does, if there is any problems or if we need to push that back, I'll let people know. Got it? Got it. Okay. How many people still around? Let's see. Ooh, okay. All right. I think we're ready for the next section, aren't we? I know. All right. This section is actually pretty pretty short. Um, all right. So uh, let me actually move this up here really quick. What does that even say? I know. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Undoes. Okay. Mm. All right, are we ready? I hope so. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do today for section 4.3 is we're gonna move into what are called logarithmic functions. Uh, but first, uh, what I wanna do is just study the properties of a logarithm. Just flat out, what the heck does a logarithm do? Okay, um, this is the section that a lot of people have trouble with. Okay, um, not because of the arithmetic, not because of anything really, um, like, not because of the accounting that you need to do. It's more about the logarithm itself. So before you guys had like the math problems or the math uh, mistakes that you guys have been making, or arithmetic. So instead of adding a one, you were subtracting a one. 
uh, something along those lines, right? Um, before it was that. Uh, now this is actually going to be a pre-cal problem. You guys are going to have trouble with the pre-cal material. Okay, so just forewarning people about it, and it's okay if you do. Uh, that's what this chapter is for. We're going to tinker around and make sure we understand what the logarithm does. Okay, uh, so to preface um, all of this, I want to go through um, some rules that I think you guys have played around with. You know them to be true. Nobody's actually told them to you, right? So the first one, if you have an addition, right? How do you undo an addition? Subtraction. Right. Step, oh. Yeah, subtraction, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have a plus five and you need to get rid of it, you have to do minus five, correct? Uh, if you have a multiplication, what undoes a multiplication? Divide. Divide. You guys remember these. Nobody's actually, maybe you guys have been using them repeatedly in your math stuff, right? But nobody's actually told you this is how it works. Right? Uh, so then lastly now is we've been studying exponents, right? Mm -hmm. And turns out the exponents undo logarithms and back and forth. So these, all of these statements are basically in both directions, right? So if you have an addition, it undoes subtraction. If you have an, a subtraction, it undoes addition, right? Same thing in the other direction for all of these, right? If you have a division, to get rid of it, you multiply. If you have a multiplication, to get rid of it, you divide. The so same thing goes with exponents and logarithms. If you have a logarithm, you can get rid of the logarithm by taking its exponent. And if you have its exponent, you can get rid of it by taking the logarithm. Got it? So that is what log, um, uh, sorry, section 4.3 deals with for today. Um, we know let me ask you guys this. Are exponential functions one-to-one? -one, do, do we all remember what one-to-one -one is? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So one-to-one -one is the horizontal or vertical line test? Uh, horizontal. Right. So yes, they are. They are one-to-one, -one. right? So just because they are one-to-one -one they have inverses, okay? So then that is exactly what I was explaining up here. So addition, right? Use the highlight. The addition is the inverse of the subtraction, right? Multiplication is the inverse of division and vice versa. So then logarithms are the inverse of exponents. Okay. Okay, so. The domain of the logarithmic function with base B will always be uh, zero to infinity. Um, we'll, we'll see the graph of that in a little bit. And the range, now this one's the one that's flipped, uh, negative infinity to infinity. Does that make sense? So let's go back to the exponent section that we just finished. Notice how, let me go back up to the very top of this section. Everybody sees my screen, correct? Yep. Okay. Actually, let me go now well, here. These two. So notice for these two, right? The range is negative infinity to infinity. Sorry. Uh, the domain is negative infinity to infinity. 
the range is from zero to infinity, right? So then the inverse should have both of these, just how we did in chapter or in section, what, 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 what section was that? Uh, 1.7, I think. If you have an inverse, the domain and the range flip, right? So if we go back to our, they do actually indeed flip, right? So now, this used to be the range for the exponent, right? And this used to be the domain. Have I broke people yet? Nope. Okay. Um, let me reiterate, I still have my chat box open. So if you guys need to chat with me, uh, and that goes for everybody else. If you guys see the chat box going off um, and uh, doesn't look like I see it, mention it to me really quick. Yeah. Um, so the way that I like to write it instead, so this, the way that they have it written right here is technically correct. The way that uh, I like to show people how to actually use it um, is this way. Uh, a to the B is equal to C. So if we have an exponential function that looks something like this, the equivalent way to write it is log base A to the C is equal to B. So then everybody sees how the sort of the variables work out here. Okay. So if I give, let me zoom in on that. If I give uh, a, right, and if I give it some exponent, right, it'll give me a value c, correct? Uh, and so the flip side, right, if I know what base I'm using, right, and I know the number that is coming out of taking it to the exponential, right, then it'll give me what exponent I need to put it at in order to get my value C. Does that make sense? So this, so the logarithm, right, it gives the, the exponent that you need for that base A. Does that make sense? Kind of. I know. Okay, so, uh, when we start doing some more examples down here, it, it'll be, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. Um, so I wanna answer this question really quick. Can we take the logarithm of a negative number? So can we find log base B of negative one? Is that at all possible? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. So how about this? I'm going to call this X, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this stuff up here. That stuff. I want to change this thing using that rule that I just sort of highlighted with my space pen. So this is equivalent to what? Yeah. 
Anybody got something? The negative one to the X. Close. Or is it X to the negative one? Close Closer. So what's my space pen rule say? So what is this all? What does this tell you to do? So we have this side, right? Change it, change it to the exponent version. So go to like the the e way to the to think about it is this thing, right? Right, so b to the x, so this to that power has to equal that thing. Oh, okay. b to the x is equal to negative 1. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Is there any, so we're talking about a value x, right? So we're talking about this thing right here. Is there any value x that I can plug in that will produce a negative one? Mm -hmm. oh. So let me go back to let me go back to four two. So you guys see uh, these functions that are right here, right? Do they ever drop below the x-axis? No. Ever, never. Right. Mm -hmm. So you'll never get a negative value, no matter what your b is. No, so in this case, for both of these, right? This one was 2x, right? And then for this other one, it was 1 half x, right? No matter what base you choose, you can never plug in a value for x so that you get that negative 1. So this never happens. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what I want to practice now, for example, one, I want to practice this thing over here, this. The changing it from, um, from expon or from logarithm to exponential and back again. Make sense? So the, for A, let me do a over here. Uh, the square root of six, what I'm going to do for that, that's uh, no, actually, never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and use the rule. So it's this to that power is equal to that. So six to the one half is equal to square root of six. So this is what I mean by sort of uh, interchanging be between the exponent version of an equation and the logarithmic version of an equation. So if we have uh, the exponential version, we can switch it to a logarithmic if we have the logarithmic, we can switch it back to the exponential version. Got it? Yes. Okay. For B, what does that one become? 3 squared equals 9. Right. 3 squared is equal to 9. Let me actually write it a little lower. Right. 3 to that power is that thing right there. So again, if I have the exponential version, I can switch it to the logarithmic. 
And in this case, what we did was we grabbed the logarithmic and changed it to the exponential version. Got it? Okay. You guys want to try the quick check? I'm going to give you guys five minutes to try them out. Shouldn't take you more than that. You probably might be done in two. At least it stopped raining, right? Yes. Yeah. It kind of sucked. The very first day we were made to stay in our homes, it rained. <laughs> Had the more more depression. <laughs> Can't wait for a clear day. Um, I've been meaning to take out my telescope <laughs> um, for like for like the past two weeks, and the reason why um, has anybody noticed? Um, like after sunset or right before sunset, around sunset. Let me just say that uh, you look to the west. There's a very, very, very bright star. Uh huh. Um, that's Venus. Mm -hmm. And can you see it? You have huh? a really like, powerful next mm -hmm. telescope? Oh, that's it's cool. huge. No, I have um, cool. I have an eight inch um, what is it called? Smith Casa Grain or whatever, and so. It's one of those like stubby, big, huge tube ones. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's and, cool. yeah. And I've been meeting to take it out. I, I don't even have to take it somewhere dark. I can see things from my backyard perfectly fine. Um, but the problem with Venus is my entire apartment complex is in the way. So I need to, <laughs> I need to actually take the telescope to like, some something to to a, to a spot where nothing is in the way. Oh my God! You know where you should go. Uh, we go skydiving out in Byron, and mm -hmm. whole people just stay overnight. They bring their little campers and stuff, and oh, really? we'll have breakfast in the morning and everything. But there's nothing around. And this guy actually brought his telescope uh, like a month ago. Really? Yeah, dude. It's so nice out there, and everybody's like really friendly. And plus, you can go skydiving, and it's cool. Yeah. I've been wanting to go, um, at, at, I think at this point it might be too late, to go um, to, um, uh, what's this place called, um, Joshua Tree. Oh, I know, down near LA, on your way to LA? LA? Yeah. Yeah. Um, at this point it might be getting a bit too hot now, so that's why I think it might be too late, but still a dream. Yeah, I heard it's called. Bucket list. Yeah, I heard... 
<clears throat> I heard in um in Joshua Tree, it gets dark enough so that you don't have to uh like if you turn off all the lights and let your eyes adjust, you can see the Milky Way without using anything extra. Wow. That's awesome. And that's one of the things like that happened once to me. Um uh we went down uh on a trip, me and my parents, and uh, my dad's from like a little itty bitty town with one gas generator, and <laughs> that generator went out. And there's no city close by for like a good two, three hours, so it was completely dark, and all you, you saw the entire thing. And it looks, it looks much, it looks much different than it does in every single picture that you see about the Milky yeah. Way. It literally looks like, like you're looking upward at a completely like black piece of paper <laughs> in pricks in it uh-huh and that's all you see, that all you see. <laughs> so it, you don't see any color you don't see any of that you just see like pin pricks on like a black background i'm curious about like the northern lights too like does it really look like that does that really happen uh i think people <laughs> said yes it does so that's yeah, it does. Yes, it does. yeah <laughs> that'll be one to see too right all right what do you guys have for uh, A? Uh, 10 to the 6th power. Right. This to that power is equal to? Uh, 1 million. Right. Got it? And for B? 5 squared I equals 25. Right. Simple enough, right? Sort of how to bounce back and forth between logarithmic and exponential. So now, let's go backwards. So what would this be? What would 2 to the third equal 8 be in the logarithmic form? Tell me what to write. Uh, log two, and then eight equals three. Right. So we know that this to that power must equal whatever's in there. So you guys see what the logarithm did? So logarithm base two of eight. So what should my exponent be? base 2 so that I can get 8. And that has to be 3. Got it? Uh, 5 squared equal 25. What do I do? Uh, log 5. Log base 5. Uh, uh, 20 of 25 equals 2. So, lo and behold, I gave you guys that already above it. So, the last one. Oh, um... <laughs> log base 10 of one ten hundredths? Ten thousandths. Ten, th ten thousandths equals negative four. You guys see what it's sort of spitting back, right? Mm -hmm. It's spitting back the x in each one of these. Exponent, exponent. Exponent, exponent. Okay, you guys want to try the um, the quick checks really quick? I'll give you guys another minute.
Wasn't there an earthquake in Byron? Recently? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> morning. Recently. Yeah. I turned on the news for like three minutes. It was a big one too. No surprise. It was a big one. Yeah, it was a 5.7. Yeah. It was kind of around that time when Martinez had one too, right? Yeah. Oh no, it hit Salt Lake. Never mind. It was Salt Lake. Byron had one. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. And I want to say it was around the time of the Martinez one because the Martinez one, I felt. And then I think like two or three weeks later, we had another one. I was like, holy shit. Mm. And they were both relatively close. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Somebody's much left. I'm looking at how much is left for us to do. Oh, not much. Not too bad. Not too bad. You guys ready? Yep. Three squared equal nine. What's the log ver version of it? Log three nine equals two. Right. You guys go along with these. Log base three of nine is two. So same thing works out, right? That was our exponent. That was our exponent. Five cubed is 125. Log base five of 125 equals three. We're done. The exponent, exponent, right? That's one. Uh, log base two of one half equals negative one. Exponent, exponent. Good. Oh, Daniel's in trouble. Okay, uh, for those of you who have calculators, this, this is the thing that I wanted to, um, well, sorry, this is without calculators. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. Um, so this thing that we've been doing, the, let me go back up here, this thing right here. All of that uh, gives us a tool for how to solve logarithmic equations. Now, there's going to be a section on logarithmic equations and how to do them and how to solve them. That's actually later on in the chapter. I think that's section 4.7. The notes aren't up yet. Uh, I'll have them up in the next couple of days. But uh, at least basic stuff. We already have enough to do what we need to do in order to solve equations with it. So. <clears throat> how to solve let's say we want log uh, 4 of 64 without using a calculator we can the dump truck's picking up the trash right now so it's nice and loud it's okay we can't hear it oh okay cool um, <laughs> we, can change, we can change the logarithm version right we can change this thing into its equivalent exponential, right? And uh, try out some values for them. So if we change this into our exponential version, what do we get? Uh, 
four y equals sixty four. Right, four to the y power. We don't know what y power is yet, right? Is equal to sixty four. So four to what power gets a sixty four? Uh, three. three. Three, yeah. So this automatically y is equal to three. And we are done. You guys see that? Yep. You guys want to try uh, example four? You guys maybe one or two minutes with it. You guys got something? I think everybody else is just listening. Uh huh. Which is okay. Would would okay? Can I can I guess one? Yeah. Would would A be negative eleven? Mm mm. Okay. So, just how I did for the one above it. Mm -hmm. Change it to the exponential version and see if you can guess something that way. I did. Daniel, te llaman. Whoever that mother is, I think she still has her wits about her. I remember when I was in, when I was that young or when I was in college and I was at home with my parents, she would still be screaming at my brother and sister. So she didn't know which one to scream at. She needed to scream at one of them, at one of us. So she'd say all three names before she got the right one. <laughs> that's, that's, I feel that. <laughs> I know people are laughing in the background. For the first one, would it be 121 to the one half power equals 11? Mm-hmm. So, or so how about exponent we do... is one half? Yes, exactly. So, oh, okay. we're going to do this thing, right? So, that to that power is equal to that, right? So, 121 to the y power is equal to 11, right? So what's my power gonna have to be? So 121 to what power is equal to 11? And I think you guys had guessed it, right? One half. One half, right? And it just so happens the square root of 121 is 11. Got it? Got it. Okay. B. Uh, three. three it would be negative three. Three, right. So let's do this thing first. That to that power is equal to that, right? Three to the Y is equal to one over 27. So three to what power gives me one divided by 27? Negative three. Right. Negative three. So three to the negative three is equivalent to back to our exponent rules, right? One over three cubed and three cubed is one over 27. So we are done with these two values right here. And 
Oh, I should put y equal. We good? Okay. So give me a second. I'm actually going to share the entire screen really quick. What a time to be alive. All right, so there are two last ones that I have to sort of mention really quick, and that is the common log and the natural log. So if you, the only difference between the two is notice that in all of the examples above it, right, whenever I said log or whenever there was a log uh, within the expression itself, I gave you the base. So notice that for like, for example, the 121, there's a base here. There's a log base four. There's a log base three. Let me see. If we move them up here, there's a log base five. Here's a log base 10. Here's a log base six, a log base three. Notice how for all of these, I give you a base. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Notice here, right? The base is missing. I don't tell you what it is. Whenever you see this, this is equivalent to log base 10 of X. So you can, if you don't see, so in the same spot, if you don't see a base there, you can automatically assume that it, that it is log base 10. Anything else will have to be explicit, uh, expressly written. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then same thing goes for the natural log. So whenever we say, whoa, whenever you see uh, ln of x, that is equivalent to log base E of X. Does that make sense? It's one yes. of those like, it's, it's like a, you guys know that, that implicit one that, so if you have like X squared plus X plus one, right? There's an imaginary one that's in front of there and an imaginary one that's in front of there. We don't write it, but we know it's there. Correct? It's essentially the same thing with the natural log and the common log. We don't write it, but we know that the common log is base 10 and the nat natural log is base E. Got it? And the reason why we have these natural log common log ones is uh, uh, they happen so often that we just got rid of the base for them. That's it. And it's understood between everybody that's, I guess, uh, within context uh, that it is log base 10 and log base E. And furthermore, we got calculator buttons for them. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do right now. Um, so for the first, for example, five and example 6.1, I didn't know I'd, I had two example sixes, and then there's a point two. So we know that this is log base 10. So tell me what to write. The, the equivalent exponential form is? Have people left already? 10, Y, oh. 1, 10. Yeah. 
10 to the y is equal to 1,000. So y is equal to? 3. E. We are done. Right? And this one we've already seen before already. So we're assuming that this is base 10. So 10 to the y is uh, 1 million. So y is equal to 6. So the last two examples, 6, 2, and 6, 7, because I think the your question's after that, yep. 6, 2, and 6, uh, 6, 2, and 7. Um, this is asking you to do it by calculator. And the way you do that, if you have a TI-84, there are these two buttons. Even on scientific calculators, there's a log and an LN. And they operate usually the same way, almost always the same way. So log of 327. And you just hit enter. And we are done with that one. And similarly, if we need to do a LN, we use the LN button, 500. So then here, y is equal to 6.2146 dot, 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 I'm gonna put dot down. So then this right here tells us, right, that 10 to the 2.5145 should be equal to, and then dot, 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 327. And likewise, for example, seven, if you do E, to the 6.2146 dot, 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 that should be 500. How are people doing? Have I broke people? Have we done enough math for today? Yes. I possibly. Quite possibly. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. But you can solve number seven without a calculator, right? No, because, okay. yeah, because E is a funky uh, decimal. Oh, number. that's right, that's right. E is a funky decimal number. So in order for you, you can't even get an exact value from a calculator for it. You'd actually mm. have to plug in the LN of 500. Wow. Got it? Got it. Got it. Woo! All right, well, there's 10 minutes left of class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys are going to sign out, uh, but I'll stick around for the 10 minutes to answer some of the lecture questions just in case. I'm pretty sure you guys can do this in 10 minutes. Please. <laughs> All it is is changing stuff from exponential to logarithmic and back and forth. Okay. All right, so I'm still online. Ah, uh, Ignacio's leaving. Mm. Okay. All right, man. Um, so for this is for everybody. Um, I'll be on. Um, I'll be online for maybe the next ten minutes, about. Um, and uh, I'll be uh, probably grab something to eat really quick, 
and like um I'll be online in about, I think it's 45 minutes from now, I think is when I have my first office hour. Um, so if you guys need me, like I said, go to the Canvas page. There's a link there for the online office hours. Okay. Real quick. Yeah. Number, the, the last one, it is, so is the zero gonna, so it's gonna be, log of x and then it's equal to zero the number 59 number 59 is zero in the domain oh is zero in the domain of function so can you plug in zero for the domain so for that one, can't you? How about this? You know what log is, right? So yeah, the flat log, right? Just how it stands, it doesn't give you a base, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's it's log base ten. Right, and it's asking you, right? So I'm going to do this. Y is equal to log base ten of zero. Turn that into an exponential. See what the happens. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Because if you turn that into an exponential, you're gonna, it's going to be 10, 10 of y equals to 0. But nothing equals can equal to 0, right? Exactly. Because even if you put in 0, it's going to be 1. Right. Okay. What's the wording for that? <laughs> Just, how so, you, hmm? Just how you said it. So you said you changed it into an exponential, right? Mm -hmm. And that gave you another way to look at it, and then you concluded the right thing. Yeah. So just word it how I said it? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, will, I am leaving now. Okay. I'll see oh. you next week. Okay. Cool. Have a good have a good week. Yeah, you too. Don't go crazy. Oh, I will. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> you will. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next week. See you. All right, see ya. Please. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm answering somebody else, Brittany. Okay. I read your thing though, so that's that. You you might be hearing me busily. Uh, biz. Yeah. No, uh, fine. Typing away. I'm typing away. Okay. Uh, Sir? Yeah. So I was looking for the two of my video assignment, uh, which is not letting me to use the late pass. Uh, I sent you email also two times. Yeah. So you could do that right now, please. Is this Michelle? Yeah, this is Michelle. Okay. Um, yeah, I was beginning to type stuff right now. So let me uh, switch to that what assignment is it it's 2.2 .2 graph of linear function also the 3.7 rational function video assignment okay so let me because i just figured so the the uh, <clears throat> the um the late pass mm -hmm. problem i yeah. figured out what it was so yeah. uh before 
So it discounts a late pass for every length of late pass that is late for that assignment. Does that make sense? So mm -hmm. let's say, so the length of the late pass before was 48 hours. So you had two days after the due date mm -hmm. to request a late pass. Every two days after the due date counts as one late pass. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's why it was discounting seven, eight, nine late passes for one assignment. Mm -hmm. So if an assignment's due tonight and you request a late pass four days from now, it will count two late passes from you. Okay. Does that make sense? So, so it, it means that it means that as soon as possible, if I finish my late pass, my did my late pass is good, right? Right. So, uh, what I did, uh, what I did, uh, when was it? Maybe a couple days ago. Uh, no, yesterday. What am I talking about? A couple days ago. Um, was I extended the time for a late pass? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, uh, one late pass will give you one entire week, seven days. Okay. So now instead of discounting one late pass per, uh, instead of discounting one late pass per day, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for yeah. every week that you request a late pass, right? It'll discount that many late passes. So <clears throat> let's say an assignment is due tonight. Mm -hmm. and you couldn't finish it, so you need to use a late pass, it'll just charge you the one late pass. Okay. And that is, and that is good for a week. Okay, sir. I got it. Mm -hmm. If you don't request it this week and you request it next week, it'll charge you two. Okay. Got it? Mm-hmm. So just keep them, keep that in mind. Uh, which assignment was it? Two, two, uh, it's 2.2 right? two grab of linear function. The assignment or the video assignment? It's the I think that's the video assignment. Uh, so for the video assignment, you got an 80 out of 80. Uh, uh, then it's uh, the, uh, maybe the another assignment, which is the linear function, which is which right. I didn't take anything, any of them. Yeah. Okay. But you're in review mode there, so I'll clear the yeah. review mode. Try using the late uh, the late pass now. It should. Yeah, I will. And also for the 3.7 rational function. 3.7 rational functions? Yeah. Well, you can go ahead and use a late pass for that one. For that one also, for all uh, any of them, right? Uh, but, oh, wait, you're saying that it's not letting you use a late pass. You probably went Yeah, that's the problem because uh, I didn't know the rules of that. So on the MATLAB, when I was trying to uh, use the MATLAB tutor to help me with that question, so you were there. I didn't know that it, uh, I, uh, if it's in review mode. So... I need your permission, you know, to yeah. use the late pass. Yeah. So that one for 3.7, right? Yeah. So for 3.7, uh, for 3.7, so the, which one, the video assignment or the actual assignment? Uh, the rational function, mm, that's it, video assignment, I think. Not the okay. lecture one. So you need the lecture one, the one that's 80. Okay. Yeah. Okay, try it now. Okay. It should let you use the late pass now. Got it? Oh, yeah. So I got it. Thank you so much. All right. Woo. This is actually better. I'm actually able to answer questions because I'm on my computer already. So this is actually working out. All right. Um, for everybody else, Class is technically over. And we and you, and you 
and you will be have a, a, another time to solve the problem at uh, from one to two or two to three, right? Today. Yeah, I think it's from two to three today. I, okay. I have uh, the virtual office hours. Okay, sir. Okay, so I'll check my uh, rest of my uh, things which I can do it. So if I have any other problem, then I will, I will let you know. Okay, cool. Come by Thank two you. to three. Uh, I'll be online from two to three using the link that's on your um, uh, on your uh, Canvas page. Okay. Got it. All right, sir. Thank you. Okay. If there are no other questions. Yeah, I got. A, wait, I got a question. Yeah. So if we're turning these in, do you just want a Canvas email with a picture of the lecture questions on it? Um, so in um, in a, uh, on Canvas, in your assignments, I'm going to uh, start creating, a, uh, for the lecture questions, I'm going to start creating uh, assignments that uh, will be an online submission. So you can take a picture of them uh, using your Canvas app on your phone. And you can submit that directly. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that way you don't have to like scan it or take a picture and then send it to my email. Just submit it straight through Canvas. I'll be able to look at it that way. Okay. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Cool. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. I'll see you next week. I'll see you everybody later. next week. Yep. Don't go crazy. Oh, take I won't. A <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> All right. I'll see All everybody right. next week. All right. All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? So slowly but surely, I had pulled them up, got distracted, started something else, and then it's not like I tried or really looked at them. It was more of... Your undiagnosed ADHD came in? Yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> I've been trying to do, like, the worksheets, too, as I do that. So I'll pull up that, and I'll pull up your lecture, and I'll pull up my worksheet just because I was hella behind and do them all consecutively at the same time. Yeah. Or at least do the homework and look at your lecture first and do the lecture questions. And then right. I'll do that. But I leave it up just to see what type of questions it asks. Yeah. But then I get halfway and I don't finish it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get it. Yeah. But if there's like ones with questions answered and I just didn't finish it, you can leave it. Like, I understand. It's my fault. I know. Well, like I, like I put in the email, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I am not caring too much about due dates. I do have due dates there mm -hmm. and basically if you like if you meet the due dates you're sort of making good progress in the course if you yeah. miss a due date like i don't completely care i do need to have you hand it in i'd rather you hand it in late and done correctly mm -hmm. rather than the other way around where you turn it in on time and not know what's going on yeah does that make sense so yep. keep doing the ones that you missed okay keep doing the ones that you missed uh, when you have a chance, turn them in. Okay, no problem. Um, yeah. It's not like I'm going to have anything else to do. I'm kind of like, you know, <laughs> stuck <Well>. here. <laughs> Man. Man, I'm going to get so many assignments done today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right, Julio, take care. Be safe. You too. Wash your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yo, yo, Weston. Uh, let's see. I need to unmute you. Let's see. How do I unmute you? Hello? Mm. Oh, there it is. What? You had it muted. Or you had it unmuted, and now it's muted. So how about more unmute? Yeah, my fault. I wanted to turn off my music before I started talking. Okay, yeah. Yeah, same thing here. I was still in lecture. So students had stuck around um, after class was over. Um, to ask me some questions about the math. So, uh, can you give me a second? Let me go to the bathroom really quick. I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, not a problem. Take your time. Yeah.
All right, my guy. Let me, uh, oh man. Let me stop the recording. I am recording right now.